Hi Aquarius and happy birthday to those of you who have birthdays coming up. So this is going to be your general love reading for mid-January 2022 and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Aquarius. As always, it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out all that information in the description box. All right, let's see Aquarius, what is going on with you for the second half of January? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, for your situation, we have the Page of Swords crossed by the Eight of Wands. Okay, so that has to do with communication. Feels like communication might be blocked. Um, even though there is this desire to communicate either, either from your end or the other person's end, I kind of feel like it is mutual, beings that we got two <laughs> communication cards here. Let's, let's see what else we get here. So for the recent past, we have Judgment. Okay, so possibly some kind of a decision that was um, made here, like a final call, we'll see. For your energy, we have the Four of Cups and the World. All right, interesting, we had the World in this exact position in Libra's reading as well. Um, there's some disappointment here. There's some disappointment um, possibly related to the ending of a particular cycle, which might have to do with the with this communication situation. Let's see for them, we have the Emperor and the Two of Pentacles. And I feel like this Two of Pentacles has been showing up a lot in the other person's energy for air signs. Um, We'll see, I get the feeling that this is a person who is really trying to maintain some kind of control in their lives. Um, but, and it could be that they appear that way, right? Like they appear very confident that they appear maybe even arrogant or like they have everything under control, but underneath all of that, they're really struggling here. Let's see, for the near future, we have Justice. All right, so that's Libra. We also do have Aries showing up. Um, and the message for you here is the Ten of Pentacles, okay, which talks about a commitment. Hmm. Okay, so maybe some of you are dealing with a Libra. Could be any sign though, of course. It does feel like another decision is coming up. I feel like there may have been one in the past and there's another decision that is coming up, um, trying to bring things into balance coming up in the near future. So let's clarify and get the details here. So let's see, Page of Swords with the Eight of Wands. All right, and we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Moon. Hmm. Who is this Queen of Pentacles here? Um, it definitely feels like, I'm just getting that there's this connection between you and this person that feels very nurturing, um, at least on some level, or maybe it felt very nurturing. I feel like um, whoever is holds more of the feminine energy in this connection was giving more or has been giving more to this connection. But with the moon being here, that's also Pisces. Um, something is not really being revealed here. Something is not being shown. It could be that there is a third party involved for some of you. But I definitely feel like there's um, there's a lot of curiosity here. Like if you're if you're in no communication at all whatsoever, there's a lot of curiosity. I feel like it's um, from this other person towards you, but it could be the other way around, or maybe even the both of you. There's a lot of curiosity as to what you are up to, or if it's you, what they are up to. Huh. Wanting to communicate, not doing so at the moment, but yeah, something, it's like somebody is keeping really quiet 
or keeping a secret. Hmm. Hopefully this will unfold as we go along. Let's see judgment for the recent past. All right, the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Swords. It's like somebody felt like something within this connection was too difficult to handle, like there was some kind of an obstacle that felt like it couldn't be overcome. And so I feel like whatever this decision was, and I do feel like it, that's kind of like what led to this communication issue. So you could be in communication, but there's like some kind of a major misunderstanding here, something that has not been fully understood or that has not been seen. Um, but whatever it is that created that, it happened kind of suddenly. It happened really quickly. And it does come off as somebody just kind of pulling away from it. Like, okay, you know, we're not getting anywhere here, so I'm just going to pull away because it feels too hard. And then for others of you, it's that it was like a complete halt in the communication. Like, just, okay, you know what, I'm out. Let's see, let's see that four of cups for you. Okay, king of pentacles, the eight of wands, and the three of wands. Okay, so eight of wands showing up again. Interesting that we have both the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles showing up. Some of you might be dealing with an earth sign because um, we do have a bit of earth showing up as well. Um, we actually have like every every element showing up, but well, except for except for cups. So except for water, we do have everything else um, showing up quite a bit. Yeah, it does feel like okay for some of you. This is definitely a third party situation. Um, there's a lot of disappointment that you, that you're feeling um, because of this person's commitment status or because of what it is that they were able or not able to give to you, okay, if it's not a third party. And so the fact that this communication um, went downhill in whatever way, I do feel like there's some kind of a pause here with that three of wands. It's like maybe you've been waiting for a communication that didn't come through it's led to, to some disappointment for you. Let's see the world. I do see you getting out of this, though. Eight of Swords. Page of Swords showing up again. Um, you have both of these, um, both of the major energy cards, the main situation cards, you, you have both of those clarifying here for you. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles also showing up again here for you. So, <laughs> which is also the message for you. So a lot of repeating cards. Um, this is definitely a situation that may have kept you in your in your mind a lot, like just overthinking or thinking a lot about it. Again, you know, just waiting for there to be some kind of a resolution to whatever this misunderstanding was, or for there to be some kind of contact, some kind of communication. Possibly waiting to see, you know, if this commitment can actually move forward and just kind of resolve itself, complete itself. I feel like you're you're in this space of, okay, allowing that to just kind of end for you. At least, if not the commitment itself or the possibility of it, at least you are trying to um, conclude thinking so much about it. Because it does feel like, you know, you may have been a lot in your head about this, but... But not anymore. You're you're coming out of that. Let's see what's going on with this person here. Let's see the emperor. All right, we have the eight of cups, which was also in this position um, for Libra's reading as well. 
uh, the, eight, the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles showing up again for them. This person is trying really, really hard to find some kind of a balance. Again, I feel like it's not really working out because they still have this Two of Pentacles here. It's like they're, they're trying to detach, they're trying to keep their distance here, but that's taking effort. It's taking a lot of effort for them to keep away um, from you, to keep that distance. It's actually overwhelming them. So no matter how it is that they appear on the outside as this emperor, like they got everything under control, like maybe even some arrogance or just, you know, confidence, like yeah, everything is great. Um, no, it's not. This walking away from this connection is, is a lot of effort and it's really hard for them to find that, to find that balance. Well, at least the balance in the way that they are trying to find it. Like, it's it's not working. Let's see the Two of Pentacles. Ooh, that card went flying. All right, we have Strength, the Two of Wands. Give me one sec to get the flying card. And it's the Four of Cups, which is, which is a card that you also have. Okay, so they're feeling that disappointment as well. They're feeling that sadness. Um, I'm even getting they might be feeling a little bit even bored um not of you bored not having you again it's like it's 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 like they're using all their strength to hold back to hold back from communicating with you. Um, but yeah, that's causing a lot of dissatisfaction, a lot of unhappiness. And having the Two of Pentacles as well as the Two of Wands, that's, that's also fluctuating, like a lot of thinking about it, like should I, shouldn't I, um, what should I do? I do get that they are trying to find that strength to do it, but it's like, for them, it's feeling like it would be a risk that they're going to lose this control that they think they have over their lives. The two final cards look really good for you, though. So let's see. Let's see justice for the near future. <laughs> look at this. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles, which to me is can be similar to Justice. It's like, for me, it's like the minor arcana sometimes of Justice um, because it does talk about balance and being very fair. Um, and also the Emperor, right, which is in their energy. So there's something here. This person, I feel, is... Um, what's the word? What's the word that they use? Um, it's like almost like an appeal to the first decision that was made, like reconsidering the decision that was already made in the past and wanting to do it in a way that's going to be more fair this time. Like something just doesn't feel like it was closed off fairly. And I do see this decision now being attached to this other person. Wanting to give, wanting to give something to you. So whether that be an offer, whether that be closure, whether that be, okay, you know what, let me hear you out. It's going to be different for everybody. But it's like this person is stepping into this energy of, okay, you know, wanting to be fair, wanting to do the right thing, wanting to fix something. All right, so let's see the Ten of Pentacles for the message for you. All right, and we have the Ten of Wands and the Hierophant. Okay, so Taurus also um, presenting itself here. So whatever, whatever it is that ends up happening with this person, Spirit is saying here that this Ten of Pentacles, which is something that you really want, right? Because it showed up before here for you. This is something that you can have. It's really about um, releasing some kind of heaviness releasing some kind of responsibilities, you know, something that has been dragging out or weighing really heavy on you for a really, really long time. I feel like 
what Spirit is saying is that this has all been a very big, big lesson here with the Hierophant. The Hierophant can also represent commitment, just like the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like this is actually on your path. It is meant for you and it is something that you are working towards. And it is finding its way to you. It's just that the biggest lessons, right, which can lead to this beautiful commitment here, are oftentimes also very, very challenging as the Ten of Wands. And it can get to the point where it feels like we can't take any more before we actually have learned that lesson or our soul has grown to where it needs to in order to have that come in. And that's when we, we're ready for it. So it's actually looking pretty good, Aquarius. All right, so if this resonated, let's get the final oracle message for you. All right, we actually got two. We have the third quarter moon, adjustments are required. Okay, so just see what it is that might need a little bit of an adjustment, which I actually feel like it's something that you are that you are doing. Okay, with that world card. And then we also have the North Node, step out of your comfort zone. So yeah, could be a message about this other person um, stepping out of their comfort zone, for example. And it does appear like they are doing that um, coming up here. So Aquarius, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for watching and much love.